For centuries, tribal leaders have shared stories to teach their young. When I was a boy, I had a mentor, our village elder Grey Bear. He taught me about hunting, fighting, and shamanic magic. He taught me these skills through stories about my father, a once celebrated Indian warrior. Now that I am leader of my own tribe, it is my responsibility to pass on this knowledge to a promising young brave by the name of Courage. Come this way back to the village. Ah, young Courage. You're just in time. Come join us. Oh boy, I love stories! Now, young ones, I will tell you a story. The story of how I defeated the most feared beast the land had ever known. The evil Wendigo. Courage! Pay attention. If you wish to become a great warrior, you'd do well to hear this tale. It's just a story. Just a story? Young one, stories are more important than you think. For centuries, our people have used storytelling to pass along wisdom from grandfather to father to son. By hearing my stories, Courage, you will learn from my experience. This will help you when... if... You should ever face similar trials. All right, Elder. I'll listen. Okay, Courage. I'll tell you that story. Now pay attention.
You saved your friend. That was a courageous thing to do, Brave. You stand at the beginning of a long path. What path, Grey Bear? I don't see you. The path of the warrior. I am ready. <laughs> But you're not a warrior yet, Brave. Grey Bear, I'm ready now. You're going to need a lot more training before you can tackle a grizzly bear, Brave. Meadow Flower and I have hidden ancient carvings throughout this glade. Each carving will give you a new skill. Once you've found them all, we'll see you face the grizzly bear again. Take this stone. It will allow us to talk over great distances. Remember, if you need help, just use the stone. Now find those carvings. <laughs> 